She had a, a wicked sense of humour, Maggie. Always there was the underlying joke going to come out. Um, she was very willful, very strong. This is why we thought she'd pull through. But she was tired, and it was obviously time for her to go. I believe in that, and I believe she's in a very happy place now. So, yeah, great loss for the nation, great loss to us, personally. She was like part of the family. Oh, turn it up, Ken. Oh! oh. oh. Now look what you've done. She appeared in more than 830 episodes of The Street. She only became a regular cast member in 1999, but is one of the soap's best-loved characters. Mr Roach's wife, who died suddenly this year, led the tributes. The sense of loss is just unbelievable, uh, both as a person and as a character. The character the nation will miss and the person we will miss. You know, to be able to play an acerbic, difficult old woman that she was, we'd all like to do what she does, say what you think without worry about the consequences. To be able to play a woman like that and yet be loved at the same time, needs a special sort of person. And that's what Maggie was. She, she was just brilliant. Filming was cancelled when the producer of Coronation Street broke the news that Maggie Jones had sadly passed away. Now, she did live here at number one and she could often be heard disagreeing with Ken and Deirdre. Now, anyone who crossed her path here on the cobble streets of Coronation Street, you know, her wit was unleashed upon them. And again, here at the Rover's return, the same happened. There was nobody that could escape the wit of Blanche. She lost her husband in 1999 after 28 years of marriage. She leaves behind one sister. She won Best Comedy Performance at the British Soap Awards twice and it's clear to her fans why. Well, it was a brilliant, true to life, old Salford type person. Uh, she always brought a smile to my face. I was shocked last night when I heard she died. And uh, I think she'll be sadly missed on the show. She's outlawed. She didn't, she didn't care what she said. She just come out with it and just spoke her mind. I will miss her, you know, in the future when I don't know how they're going to write her out now. So, it, yeah, I think everyone needs a Blanche. Rebecca Bucchiello, Channel M Today.